Oh, the Nintendo Switch. We've been talking about this bad boy for the last six years, and people can't stop making wacky gadgets for it. And we're still trying to find solutions to make this thing even better. I still love my Satisfy Grip. This is not a sponsor, but nothing beats it. It is the most comfortable way to play. I'm not talking about this grip today though, because I've talked about it to death on this channel. I will be looking at a bunch of other things though, including this Nitro deck, which a ton of people wanted me to look at because it's kind of a replacement for the Satisfy grip, I suppose. It turns it into a Steam deck almost. So how about we try and build the ultimate Nintendo Switch? And what better way than probably the best Nintendo Switch controller I have ever used. Then, the world's tiniest Nintendo Switch dock, and I want to finally take a look at the Pokemon printer that'll print your Nintendo Switch screenshots. All of this should ultimately make the best Nintendo Switch you've ever seen. Oh, like, comment, and hair flip on that subscribe button. Wow, when's the last time I did that? Yeah, but if you have the ultimate Nintendo Switch, you're gonna need an ultimate Switch game to play on it. <laughs> This episode is sponsored by Sonic Superstars. <laughs> the new Sonic Superstars game is actually surprisingly fun. I played it on Twitch and had a great time. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! It's such a familiar experience. It feels like classic Sonic in the way that it controls, but the looks have been refreshed and it's so much brighter and poppier now. There's so many paths I can see that I could be taking. These levels look really big and dynamic. Every level and world and act is completely different as the more you go along, the crazier things get. Also, these guys add so much variety into the gameplay. Every time you get a Chaos Emerald, it unlocks another wacky ability, like a clone ability that sends hundreds of you flying across the screen, damaging enemies and even bosses. Yes. And you can go back to the world map at any time and replay previous levels with the new Chaos Emerald abilities that you have. Oh, in the boss battles, they're pretty tough. Watch me suck at them. Just keep giving me that one ring back, I'll be fine. Give me that one ring back, I'll be fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna dance that one ring. My ring! I like that everyone is like there's a different way to beat each boss. And that's before I even mention that you can play this game with four, four of you. Of you. Well, I mean, I mean it's the first four-player Sonic ever. You can play as Sonic, Amy, Tails, and Knuckles. And then there's a battle mode where you can play with eight eight of you. you. Which one am I? I came first! There'll be links down below if you want to check it out. I really appreciate Sonic Superstars for sponsoring the video. I'm going to ironically leave very slowly. All right, I'm going to start with the Nitro deck. This thing is really cool. I've already been using it now for a couple of weeks, I would say. So this is the Crick Cricket? Crackhead? <laughs> the Cricket? I don't know how to pronounce this company's name. C-R-K-D. So you take your Switch. You slide it down on here like this, and just like that, boom, bam, baby, you got a Steam Deck. I do love the way it makes the Switch look. You know, it tricks my brain into thinking that this thing can run bigger and better games than it actually can. Like, I feel like I have the Switch 2 or the Switch Pro already. These sticks, by the way, are hole sensing sticks that you can switch out. I think this is something I don't really do or consider doing, but I just took this off and I can click it back on. But the whole sensing sticks are a big thing now. Essentially, it means you shouldn't get any kind of stick drift at any point, which is an advantage to a lot of people. This light up button down here, which is always on and burning my retinas, Apparently you can turn it off. I kind of like it being on. It acts as the home button, so you can go home whenever you want. Then on the back, you got 
four programmable back buttons. You could put anything you want. You can map it. I believe it can also do turbo. And then you have a little uh, kickstand if you're so inclined to kickstand it. It reminds me of the original Nintendo Switch kickstand because it's flimsy little and only does a weird angle. And then there's two charge points on the back here. Well, one technically. One charges it if you want to play while it's in this thing. And then another one where you can plug it straight into the dock and use it as a controller. So it's empty. Looks a bit weird. Because it plugs in via USB down the bottom here, you get this super low latency gameplay. None of that Bluetoothness going on. It was really cool setting it up because you download an app and then you touch your phone to the back of this thing and it'll automatically fill out all the details about it and even give you a rarity rating to let you know how rare your Nitro Dock is. Oh, deck or whatever. I don't know what it's called. Now, the biggest thing I haven't talked about and I've saved till last is comfortability. If you're comparing it to just using the Switch with Joy-Cons, yeah, it's quite a bit more comfortable. There's more meat to hold on to, and there are grooves on the back you can wrap your fingers around. But playing it for even an hour in bed, my hands do start to go numb. They go numb and tingly even while using this thing. I don't find it super comfortable, and I gotta be honest, I have been looking forward to making this video so that I can stop using this. <laughs> I know that sounds really mean. I love the back buttons. I do love the way the sticks feel. But end of the day, this is just so much more comfortable. They have nailed the design here. The difference is the way that the Satisfy Grip handles shoot outwards, like, like down. It just makes my hands sit in a way where they just get flow or they get blood flow or something while I play. The grips are better. The angle is better. I don't feel like I'm trying to squeeze in. I'm just, I'm relaxed out. Also, this new Zen grip has slots for two games to take with me on the go, which I did kind of miss when I was switched to this for a while. Also, this doesn't have HD rumble or NFC. So kind of losing features. You are gaining some, but also losing some. The only thing this doesn't have are back buttons. But other than that, I don't really need all the fancy technology and plugging something into USB that's just draining more battery. All in all, I don't think you have to rush out and grab this thing, but it was a fun experience. I like it. It's worth the money. I'm not going to use it. <laughs> All right, next, this little guy. For some reason, Nintendo made their own themed micro SD cards, but Nintendo thought that the little gold logo of the Triforce meant that they could charge an extra $50 for this. Other than that, you just plug and play. It's really not too bad. All right, I really have been super excited to talk about this 8-Bit Do Ultimate Bluetooth controller. It also has a 2.4 gigabyte receiver. I love the Pro Controller. There is nothing wrong with it. It is perfect. But Bob Wolf from Wolf Den actually recommended this guy to me. So I thought I would check it out. And I love it. It comes with this charging dock, which was a nice surprise. It's very stylish. It charges up the controller when you plug it in. So the charging dock plugs straight in by USB-C to USB-A, big one, I don't know. These go together now. You can pick up this controller and it, you can just start using it on the switch now. You don't have to go through and connect it and hold down buttons and everything. And it is so nice. The way it works is in the base here, there's one of those 8-bit do brick dongle things that usually you would plug into your switch and have it sticking out the side and you could connect third-party controllers. This is so cool. This is like game-changing for me. This is hands down the only controller I'm going to use now. I mean it. Changed everything for me. Let's talk about the actual controller. It feels like a pro controller, but somehow more quality. Like just the weight to it and the texture of it. We have two back panels. So you get that advantage if you want to map anything to these. The only things I'm losing, and I am losing a little bit, NFC reader. No one uses that anymore. And then the HD rumble. It does have really nice rumble and you can control what level of rumble you want, but you don't get that HD rumble. Let's be honest, people. Nintendo doesn't use HD rumble anymore anyway. And when they do, I didn't really even notice. I'm not worried about it. It's changed my Switch. I can't recommend it enough. Not a sponsor. I'll have Amazon affiliate links down below, I guess. I always forget to do that. But yeah, I just love this. It's so cool. I talked a lot about plugging this thing into the dock, but this big old guy? I don't know about you guys, but my TV, it blocks the bottom left corner of the TV. Hideous. Ugh, ugh. Get it out of here, you're saying. This is the tiniest Nintendo Switch dock I've ever seen. 
It's made by Genki, who are a retributable company that have made a ton of Switch products and third-party products in general. And uh, they're good. They're good stuff. Everything they make is good. It's so small. <laughs> it's like the size of my eyeball. So you get your Switch, you plug it in here, you plug it into the dock, and you plug that in the wall. There's a HDMI here, and you put that in your TV. So you can hide all of this behind your TV. So no one needs to see it. Not that there's anything wrong, really, with the Switch dock, but if that's what you're going for, I'm still worried about long-term use of any dock that's not Nintendo's official dock. Just because when the Switch came out initially, every dock seemed to be frying the console. But surely six years in, with them still selling things like this and coming from a company like Genki, I'm not really worried about it? I'm hesitant, but I'm not worried. This audio is gonna sound terrible, uh, because I wasn't planning on saying anything on camera right now, but this works surprisingly great. I don't know why I expected the video quality to be horrible, but it's just a dock. It's just a mini dock. I still don't trust it, but it it's pretty good. Alright, I'm actually really excited for this, but what if you could take your digital screenshots and make them physical memories. I mean, that's pretty ultimate. And that's what this does. It's a little expensive. I think it was $120. Here's the printer. Nice, little, cute. And then this one, it comes with this, where you can slot the printer into it. And now it's a Pikachu printer. Oh wait, it's blue and red. Oh, that's so cute. They matched Pokemon for it. Let's try and set this up. When you use the printer for the first time, be sure to fully charge the battery. It's micro USB? I don't know who uses USB micro in 2023, but it's on charge. We gotta put the film in so it goes like this or like that. Yeah, there we go. All right, locked and loaded. Yellow on it. I don't know what that means, but it went yellow. Remove the black film cover that is automatically rejected. But well, that didn't happen. I'm gonna skip that step for now. Gotta download an app. In stacks, mini link app. Yes. Oh, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good, it's connected. <gasps> now how's the Switch part of it all work? I took a really nice photo today of me, Kim, and Dala, and this was the first thing that came up, so maybe we could do a test. Okay, print. There is no film in the printer, please load it back and try again. Maybe because it was off when I did it the first time. There we go. All right, spat it out, so it has to be on. Never used one of these before. Leave me alone. All right, so it spat it out. Oh my God. There is nothing on this though. Did I do it wrong? Oh no, it's developing. Oh, look at that. I'm just amazed by a printer. <laughs> oh, there's a different app for it. Instax for Nintendo Switch. Let's open that bad boy. Switch Direct Print. Easily print Nintendo Switch game. All right, so it's like the same but different. Change the app design of your choice. Okay, we'll do Pokemon Snap. Oh, now it's all, it's all Pokemon-y. Oh, cool. So, I loaded up Pokemon Snap earlier. All right, here we go. Here he is. Save to system. Okay. So at the end, you can save to system. There he is. Edit and share. Send to smartphone. Only this one. All right. Scan one. Boom. Scan two. Transfer the image. Okay. There we go. There he is. Oh, it's nice. Look at this little dude. All right. So now we can do filters. This auto one does a really good job at boosting the color and making it look a lot sharper. So for now, we're just going to print the boy. Easy as that. This one came out looking really nice. While that one sits, I actually remember I should have some Animal Crossing screenshots of when I proposed to Kim in the game. Yeah. Oh. So that was me proposing to Kim in Animal Crossing. Now we'd already actually gotten married at this point, but if you remember the video, you remember the video. So I'm gonna print this one out for Kim. See if we can do it a little easier this time. Boom, one and two, okay. We'll do the auto filter because does a really good job. And then we'll just print that out. And I'll give that to Kim. Here's my Animal Crossing one. All right, pretty easy now. Oh, frame print. You can pick a frame. Oh, look. All these Animal Crossing ones. We'll turn oh, there's actually so many. This is ultimate. This is sick. For these, you have to have the picture on your phone already. All right, so let's change the filter to something Mario. All right, this one makes a lot of sense. And then go camera, us at Mario World. 
and then drag it up a little if I can. Okay, all right. <laughs> So yeah, I love all of these accessories. I do think each of these offer something very unique and improve the Switch in many ways. And don't get me wrong, I know I was kind of harsh on the Nitro deck. I'm very biased to the Satisfy Grip, but I do think it's more comfortable and that's all that matters for me. But for features, and if you just want to completely transform your Switch, the Nitro deck is great, and I'm not saying don't buy it. For me, the must-have would be the Satisfy Grip, which is not technically part of this video. Other than that would be this controller. I think this has changed the controller game for me on Switch. I love it so much. It is so nice and so handy. But what do you guys think? Do you use any of this stuff? Which thing was your favorite thing? Are you going to grab any or all of it? Let me know in the comments down below. I love making videos like this. I had a lot of fun today. So like, comment, hit a full lip on the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for allowing me to play with gadgets for a living.